Oh, I like Joel, just not those other people. It's just when I think of you, I don't even think of you being gay. I think of how great of a teacher you are and how great of a person you are. And I just don't even think about you being gay. It's, it's not like those people who are just like putting it out there. Everything they do is just in your face. It's really nice that you're out there, but it's just not too much. You know, it's, if you were too much, it'd just be, you know, too much. So it's just nice that you're just you, but not too much you. I'm Joe Karleski, the super brave teacher, and today I want to get into all the mixed messages I get as a gay man of what is right and what is not right and all these things, and especially that idea of people liking me but not liking people who are gay. Hmm. So as a kindergarten teacher, as a gay kindergarten teacher, yep, YouTube, you hear me, I'm a gay kindergarten teacher. As a gay kindergarten teacher, I do lots of informal observations of the kids. I'm always observing them and just noticing, hmm, this person's playing with this person. Hmm, this person's struggling with cutting. Hmm, this person is writing their name like this with their pencil. All these informal observations inform me on what my next moves have to be, on what my next mini lesson will be, on how I can best serve them. And it's kind of the same in life. I'm always observing what's going on and noticing things. Just like I don't need a kid to tell me I need help writing my name. If I see them writing their name like this, I know that they need help writing their name. And it's the same thing in my life. No one has ever come up to me specifically and said, guess what, Joel? I like you, but I don't like other gay people. But I've noticed through my observations of others that that's kind of the case where they treat me really well, but how they treat or talk about other people is not okay, which only starts to get my head spinning more and more thinking, wait a second. If you like me, but not those people because they're gay, what are they doing? And what could I do that would start to make you think that I'm like them and then not like me? Do you get what I'm thinking? Do you, am I crazy? It feels like I'm crazy sometimes. It's that idea of, wait, is it not okay because they're doing something or are something or represent something? Like, what is it in those people, those people, that's offensive to you? And what is about me that's okay? Or is it okay because I'm a white man? Is it okay because I'm still kind of young? Is it okay because I'm a teacher? Is it okay because I'm married? Is it okay because I live a more normative life? Like we've talked about before, I live in a house, I live in a city, I pay taxes, I do all those things the right way type of a thing. What is it about me that's not as offensive as those people? It doesn't make sense to me. And then I start laughing at myself because I'm like, wait a second, do you really know me? Do you know that I'm probably way more like those people than you could ever imagine? What are they doing that is really that offensive? Are they rubbing you the wrong way? Okay, maybe, maybe it's something you don't get, but no one, no one is offending you at all, okay? So guess what? When I, when I film these videos, right now I'm wearing my short shorts. Are these short shorts offending you? Nope, maybe you don't like them. There's a difference, right? And that's okay. So I, with these videos, really want to encourage you and myself to notice things and pause and say, hmm, I don't get that yet. I don't get that yet, but I'm curious. And what is it about Joel that I might like, but not about them that I don't like? Or what is Joel or people like Joel really aching to be more of that they might be hiding to please me, right? So maybe there might be things that I am doing because I'm too afraid to do other things because I'm afraid that I might offend you or rub you the wrong way. And I'm starting to talk in the third person, which means I'm starting to get in my head a little too much. So I'm gonna pause and take a deep breath. You can do it with me. And I really, with all of these videos, I'm doing this for myself because this is something that I need to work on. 
there are so many times where I start to categorize people and say, you know what, I like these groups of people, but how they're portraying themselves is just too much. No, no, no. Joel, there I go. Me, stop that, you don't need to do that. I get these people more, probably because they're more like me. These other people I don't get as much because they're not as much like me. My job is to get to know them and to figure them out more. What is different about me than some beautiful gay man dancing on a float in a Speedo? Not much. What we're wearing, right? And right now, not that much, <laughs> you know? And my job is to get to know that guy and get to get to know the people who are not like me and to say, okay, let's figure each other out. Let's share each other's stories. So let's keep sharing stories and keep listening to each other's stories because no one is better than another person. No one, it's just that simple. We are all awesome, 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 awesome people. <sighs> you are too. And I encourage you, if you are one of those people who say, you know what, Joel's fine, but these other people, not so much. Or those people are fine, but Joel, not so much. Pause and really reflect with yourself. What is it about that? What, what is bringing up those feelings? It's probably just your subconscious. It's probably something, the way you were brought up, it's probably something you haven't even thought about or analyzed and said, wait a second, why do I even think that? Oh, maybe I'm just confused about this or this or this. Guess what? Ask me, talk to me about it. Ask me a question. I wanna know. I wanna know what you're thinking, okay? So let's start this dialogue. Like this video, share this video. Let's keep the dialogue going. I like you because you are you. Punto final, period, right? If you like me, awesome. If you don't like me yet, awesome. If I'm not your cup of tea, I'm not your cup of tea. But there's a difference between not being your cup of tea and truly deeply offending you, okay? You are appreciated, you are valued, you are loved just for being you. Thanks for sharing this morning with me. Bye friends. Woo, can you tell I just got off my first week of teaching? Woo, super positive, super excited, but super tired. So the end of the video when I was just like, thank you for sharing life. <laughs> I mean it. You're awesome friends. Have a great day. Bye.